tried washing your face, you need to use some spot cream. Trust me. Trust me. I'm an expert. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest and confess. Apart from the odd breakouts or dealing with acne as a teenager, I've had pretty good skin. So what gives me the right to come on here and start lecturing about acne? Being a family physician, I see lots of people in my daily practice. One of the major things that I see and I deal with is acne. I've also had friends, family members that have dealt with acne and I've seen what they've gone through. Before I start this video, I'm going to make a huge disclaimer. This video is not meant to offend anyone. This is really just like a fun, jokey way to just highlight some issues around acne. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing that you shouldn't say to somebody with acne is anything. And I mean giving unsolicited advice advice that nobody has asked you for. The idea that you think it's okay to just approach somebody in the street, in the supermarket, in their workplace, and just go to them and say, Hey, by the way, oh, have you thought about doing X, Y, and Z? To me, it's just, just lacking in basic manners and boundaries. And it doesn't matter what advice that you have. Even me, I'm a doctor, I would never do that because it's just wrong on so many levels. They didn't come to me and ask. And secondly, by me going up to them and saying something, I've already made a whole load of assumptions about what they may or may not have done. Most of the times, they don't want to hear it. And most of the times, they've already done it. And most of the times, it's rude. So if you're doing that, no matter how well-intentioned your advice is, no matter how scientifically sound your advice is, just don't do it. Point number two, which is actually following on from point number one, and that is making assumptions that people with acne don't take care of their skin. Have you tried washing your face? Oh, I know. You need to use some moisturizer. That definitely works. The reality is often the opposite. Most of the people with acne that I've spoken to tend to be the most educated and the most well-informed when it comes to skincare. So the whole assumption about them not doing something or not knowing enough about skincare is usually false. So let's put that one to bed. Number three, telling somebody with acne that they need to drink more water. Uh, no sh Sherlock, really? that's all you have. Water is amazing. It's the fountain of life as we know it. And there are so many health benefits that come from drinking water. But if you have acne, you can drink gallons and gallons of stuff, but your skin will still have acne. And what's even worse, although it's very uncommon, water intoxication is still a thing. Number four, and that is to suggest any sort of a home-based DIY, homeopathic, Ayurvedic, whatever name you want to call it, DIY treatment. My grandmother's father's uncle's dog, sister's cousin, whatever, had this ancient mask that combines honey, turmeric, ginger, lemon, baking soda, cider vinegar, with a dash of cayenne pepper, and they have applied that to their face, and that works. It works. You need to try it because, you know, your skin is so bad right now, but if you try this combination, I guarantee it, it will work for you. No. My next point on the list of things not to say to somebody with acne is making assumptions about them being dirty or their level of hygiene. We all have bacteria and other germs that live on our skin and this is normal. In fact, this whole community of germs is referred to as the microbiome and they serve a very important function. They actually work with the skin to build this barrier that repels more harmful bacteria, other harmful products entering into our skin. And that has nothing to do with your hygiene levels. Plenty of people I know are probably slobs and they don't really wash, but they have clear skin. But then there are other people that are very fastidious about their cleanliness, they wash multiple times, they use lots of different soaps, and they have acne. Number six. People making assumptions that the reason why people with acne have acne is because they're eating too much greasy food. That 
makes no scientific sense. First of all, your digestive system is a totally different entity to your skin. And what happens when you eat anything, whether it's oily or not, is that it's broken down by your stomach. Any that you don't use during the course of the day is then stored as fat. And that is another example of bogus science that's masquerading as common sense. Piggybacking off that point, I'm now going on to my next point, which is advising people with acne to go vegan, gluten-free, paleo, or insert whatever diet that's trending right now here. This is an area that's still yet to be explored. So the short answer is we just don't know or we don't know enough yet. That's why I'm always really uncomfortable advising people to make drastic switches and cut out whole food groups from their diet. There is some increasing level of evidence that talks about dairy on the skin. And if you are one of the people that have cut out dairy and have noticed an improvement in your skin, that's fine. It's great that you found something that works for you, but to make an assumption that that's automatically gonna work for everybody else is wrong. Telling someone with acne that it's because they wear too much makeup. We have got to stop doing this. Really, truly, respectfully, we need to stop. Just like the rest of us, people with acne still need to get on with their lives. They still need to go to school, uni, they need to go to their workplace. They need to interact with other people and if all it takes is a bit of foundation powder and concealer for you to be able to feel like you can go out and face the rest of the world what's wrong with that and it further brings on this blame game that we put on a lot of people with skin issues as if it's their fault it's frankly none of your business how much makeup any woman or man chooses to put on their face another one is false sympathy when somebody with acne is talking about how they feel here's what you need to do you need to keep your mouth shut you don't need to be saying i know what you're going through because guess what you don't you don't know what they're going through they know what they're going through the best thing you can do for them is just to listen offer any advice if they ask you for it and letting them know that you still see them as a person and their acne does not affect who they are and number 10 on the list of things you shouldn't say to someone with acne is telling them that they will grow out of it unless you've been imbued with the powers to see into the future you don't know heck i don't know i can give you an idea or what to expect but telling them oh yes girl in six months it'll be over oh don't worry when you turn 21 we do expect that for most people especially young people and teenagers that the acne tends to slow down and settle down but there's a proportion of people for which that's not the case and some people are still struggling with acne in their 20s 30s even 40s and beyond so don't make any false statements about acne and how long it is because you're building on realistic expectations and what happens is when that person turns 21 and their acne is still there they're gonna be like well what the f what, you know what the f was that you know what's going on so that my friends is the top 10 things not to say to someone with acne. I hope it's kind of shed some light, a bit of humor. If you have anything to say about it, then drop them below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me and I'll see you in my next video.